listen if you're a new driver or if you're trying to get your license and you're ready to jump out here and get this money real quick i'm gonna go ahead and tell you do not come to prime do not even thinking about applying for prime because prime is not the company for you and let me tell you why hey what is up slime pack pack nation and since i got some free time i've been sitting here going through my email and trying to respond back to as many people as i can and the most asked question in my email is do you think prime inc is a good starter company for like training and if you don't know i think prime is still 50,000 miles now it's been some people messaging me asking me like what's the fastest way they can get their cdl and which school or which company has the fastest training now if you're looking for something fast i'm gonna be honest with you prime is not it currently i still think prime is 50,000 miles and that's between you and your trainer that 50,000 miles ain't no joke now even if you do hit 50,000 miles that don't necessarily mean that you're about to be out there on your own once you hit it because i stayed on my trainer's truck for a little over 70,000 miles and my situation was a bit more complicated so everybody's situation is not the same uh just to give a quick rundown whenever i first came to prime i was told i only had to do 40,000 hit 40,000 well 45,000 because I was going to go to tanker they sent me to train with the reefer I only had to do 40 with reefer and 5,000 with a tanker trainer then once we hit the 40,000 or whatever they were like no you got to do 50,000 so that's how I really ended up staying in the reefer division ended up doing 50,000 okay we hit the 50,000 no it's 60,000 so then I hit the 60,000. Now it's a wait to get on the list whenever I was previously told that I would get pushed through, but this video is not about that. So I ended up doing a total of like 70 something thousand miles. So if you looking for quickness to get out there on the road, right after you get your license, like within, I think most people is like, is it 21 days? Because whenever I got my license in, at Roadmaster and they was gonna send me to Warner, Warner training is 21 days and me honestly now that i'm thinking about it i wouldn't have been ready to get out there on the road by myself after 21 days so that's what's bringing me into the topic and the title of this video is prime inc 50,000 miles or 30,000 miles whichever one you gotta do at the time that you're watching this video is it really worth it now now that i'm out of training and i see everything out here on my own everything that i'm having to go through on my own yes it's worth it it definitely is worth it now me thinking about this or answering this question back then whenever i first got in training no it won't worth it because everybody well most people no matter of fact i'm gonna say everybody once you get your license you know you're ready to get out there and make that money so it's like the longer you stay on your trainer truck you only allow to so much money so back then i was like this ain't even worth it did i make the right decision like i should have went with this company i could have been on my own by now making more money but now that i'm thinking about it the training is definitely worth it Fifty thousand miles may be a a bit of a push i feel like they should have it to where okay if a student hit thirty thousand, put that student up to be reviewed have a conversation between your trainer, safety, and your fleet manager. Be like, okay, this student is doing very well at this. I feel like they're ready to get out there on their own. But if they're not, then let them proceed to the 50,000. That's how I really feel it should be. But 50,000 miles, I really think it's worth it because I feel like I'm very... But when I first came out here on the road, I felt like I was very much prepared to be out here on the road by myself it was so much that happened in the 50,000 miles that i probably wouldn't have been able to experience if my training was shorter like those most people 21 days um so much stuff happened i got to see so much more and i got so much more experience the number one thing that most students struggle with coming out of tnt is backing that's the most nerve-wracking thing whenever you get out there 
on your own because that's something that you got to do every single day you got to back into well i ain't gonna say every single day but when you first get out here that's kind of like the top most important thing of your job you got to back into dodge you got to back into parking spots so had i not went to prime and i went to another training company that was like 21 days i wouldn't have been as comfortable with backing then as i was now that i went to prime if y'all get what i'm saying if i say that right but yeah i feel like the longer training you have the better driver it makes you in the long run now this is only if you got a good trainer i had a great trainer shout out to you norman go subscribe to his channel at vaga made me i'm gonna pop it up there on the screen somewhere on the left or the right uh he was very patient and humble and selfish uh i think i started backing on my own around uh i think it was what was it twenty five thousand miles it's like okay i don't got to ask him to get out the truck i started being more aggressive not in a bad way but just approaching stuff on my own without always looking to him for help so if you got a good trainer then everything that i'm saying is gonna make you a better driver anytime somebody asks me is prime a good company y'all know i always say i mean you gotta weigh your options out what is best for you for me, Prime was a good company. Every every time I talk about Prime, I always say, for me, I don't advise nobody to go to Prime. My referral code bees in my video, but never in none of my videos have I ever said, hey, come to Prime, use my referral code. It's there if you want to use it. I don't promote it by saying it, but if you see it there on the bottom of the screen, you can use it. Um, I have never told nobody, hey, you need to come over to Prime. You know prime this prime that no anytime somebody asks me it's prime a good company i always state first prime is good to me you know everybody experience is not the same what you may think is good like a good fit another person may not have the same opinion about that so whenever it comes to choosing a good company to work for or a school or company to go to to actually get your license that really depends on you, your personal expectations and your personal goals. Just because a person is successful over here and is making this much money, that doesn't mean it's gonna be that same way for you. Everybody's journey and everybody's story, it is not the same. So people, you gotta do your own research. Of course, you know, ask other people their opinions and see how their experience is but always remember what they experience is it will not be your experience so if you got any questions you want to ask me you can ask me in the comment section or in my email i try to respond back to as many comments as i can youtube do not send notifications every time i get a comment and sometimes i'll respond back in youtube studio that's the app for like if you're a creator for youtube y'all i Y'all, I keep getting this driving position that I applied for. It's a local position, but uh, we ain't going to go into that. But yeah, but what I was saying was YouTube Studio is for like creators to see their analytics and how well their channel is doing. Sometimes whenever I respond on there, I go to YouTube and I look at your comment and my response is not on there. So I'm not ignoring y'all. Sometimes my comments don't end up on YouTube. And a lot of times I don't get notifications every time y'all leave a comment. But I usually try to go to my video and go through the comments on the actual app and see what y'all saying and respond back to y'all. A lot of times it be negative. Sometimes I engage into the negative because it's a trick for YouTube, you know. YouTube will promote more negative stuff than positive stuff. So if y'all see me in the comment section trolling a troll, don't pay that no mind. So if it's a topic that you would like for me to touch on to make a video about because I'm starting to make more sit-down talking videos, especially for like people that drive so they can listen to it. That it's not a video that they have to actually watch. So I'm trying to do more of those because me personally, I like those videos 
over the videos that I make. I know it's crazy because I make the kind of content that you have to watch on the TV. Like, I like to listen to the videos while I'm driving. Sometimes, you know, I watch the videos on TV, but mostly I like to play the videos where they just talking. Kind of like, you know, a little podcast type. So I'm starting to do more talking videos. Y'all can give me some topics on what to talk about. And I try to make some videos. So hopefully this video wasn't too long. I try to keep my talking videos at like a minimum of maybe 10 minutes. I think that should be good. So uh, y'all like this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see y'all on the next video.